The next thing that I want to share with you is the six breath regulations. So we've heard of breathing slow and deep, and there are other regulations that we're going to add to the breath. And the purpose is to get the breath very soft and very unforceful. So in Qigong practice, we want the breath to be soft and smooth. And the first thing we want to do is keep the breath slow. And then we want it to be deep, even, thin, smooth and silent. And why do we do all this? Because when the breath is very slow, soft, smooth, thin, then we can use the breath to move the chi through the body much easier. It puts us also in a altered state. So an altered state means we're not in the beta and, al and heavy alpha waves. The mind starts to slow down. The wavelengths get slower as we regulate the breath. And when we get into a different state of mind, we can perceive the chi. We can sense the chi even more. So the first thing to learn is to slow the breath down. Okay? So you might find a uh, amount of time that's natural to you, yet slow. If you're trying to regulate it to be slow and it's very hard, that's going to cause stress. So the key is to be relaxed and at ease and build up to slowing it down in a natural way. Don't try to make it slow to begin with. You have to work at it. So when you get that silky sensation in the breath, then the breath and the chi kind of merge together. So as you breathe in, you're taking in chi, and as you breathe out, you're not only expelling carbon dioxide, and you're not only taking in oxygen, you're taking in chi and clearing out stagnant chi, or just energy that hasn't been moving. So breath is very powerful. So you slow it down. Deep, deep means to try and take in 70%. Try and exhale at least 70% of your breath. So, you know, obviously the opposite is shallow. So we want deeper breaths, deeper breaths. Okay, the next thing that's not talked about as much as even. So we're not gonna try to make the breath exactly even, but we want it to be as comparable as possible to the other breath. One breath typically is longer than the exhale. The, what, either the inhale is longer or the exhale is longer. And uh, think about it, one is yin and one is yang. One's heating, one's cooling. And so you want the balance of those two breaths as much as possible. Again, if you push very hard for that balance and it's not coming natural, it may cause a stress. And the whole idea is getting into deep internal relaxation. More than relaxation, where we would say tranquility, being sedate. Um, and there's probably not a lot of words for the, the, the state of calmness that you want to get into. And then um, thin. So what does thin mean? Thin means it's not heavy. When you have a heavy breath, sometimes you'll hear or somebody pushing the breath out too hard with force. So you want the breath to come in naturally. You don't want to have to press it out or pull it in so tight. It should be thin so you don't have to drag it with you. When it's thin, it's not heavy. It's easily drawn in and easily drawn out. Okay, and then the next is smooth, smooth. So what does smooth mean? It sounds like thin, but actually smooth means the breath is consistent. So even though we have it uh, calm and slow, we don't want it to be erratic at one point and then calm. We want to keep a steady tempo. We want it to be, we want it to be all of these qualities, slow, deep, thin, and long, and we want it to happen 
consistently as we inhale and as we exhale. We keep that steady pace. And then finally, we keep the breath silent. So keeping the breath silent basically is invokes all of those other qualities. It's not that it's disturbing. It's just that when the breath is silent, that means you're developing these other qualities. So keeping the breath silent is one of the practices. And when you get all of your breath to be slow, deep, even, thin, smooth, silent, then your breath becomes soft. And so they equate it to like how a baby breathes. The baby's breathing is soft and it's not contrived, it's not forced, it's just natural. However, we might take in our breath a little longer, but we allow it to fill up in an easy way and then we allow it to release in a relaxed way. So you play and practice with this and as you go along you can take in slower breath. As you practice more you can pray, take in deeper breath and then you can learn to keep it thin and smooth and even and then eventually you get that soft feeling. So when you breathe in, if you're breathing in through your hands and head and feet, that feeling is going to help to draw it in. And as you breathe out, that feeling is going to help to expel the chi. So that's the six breath regulations.